1967, Carl Sagan speculated that life could exist in the clouds of Venus. Today, we can now strongly speculate that he may have been right. Venus, the second closest planet to our sun, has always been known as perhaps the least likely place to support life. Its temperature is so hot it can melt lead. It has crushing air pressure at the surface and contains a large amount of sulfuric acid in its clouds. The longest a lander from our planet that has operated on the surface was by the 1981 Soviet Venera 13, which lasted 127 minutes, and it sent this photo. Today, new findings come from scientists in the United States and the United Kingdom that say that there may be life in the clouds of Venus, thanks to the discovery of phosphine. So why is phosphine such a big deal? Well, because scientists only know of two ways to create this chemical compound, either by themselves in a lab, or naturally created by certain kinds of microbes that live in oxygen-free environments on our planet Earth. The researchers, led by scientist Jane Greaves of Cardiff University, made the detection using the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii and the Atacama Large Millimeter Array Observatory in Chile. Greaves stated, This was an experiment made out of pure curiosity. I thought we'd just be able to rule out some extreme scenarios, like the clouds being stuffed full of organisms. When we got the first hints of phosphine in Venus's spectrum, it was a shock. In the end, we found that both observatories had seen the same thing, faint absorption at the right wavelength to be phosphine gas, where the molecules are backlit by warmer clouds below. Researchers from MIT had previously published studies showing that if phosphine was to ever be found on another rocky planet, it would be a sure sign of life there. What is especially compelling is that these observations were made in the habitable zone on Venus, between 48 and 60 kilometers in altitude, where scientists believe the climate is temperate enough to support life. MIT research scientist Janusz Petkowski, who co-authored the study, said the following. This means either this is life, or it's some other sort of physical chemical process that we do not expect to happen on rocky planets. We really went through all the possible pathways that could produce phosphine on a rocky planet. If this is not life, then our understanding of rocky planets is severely lacking. In 2016, NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies in New York speculated that Venus had shallow oceans billions of years ago before it became a toxic hellscape. So that's it for now. Scientists will continue to proke and prod this research, as well as dedicate more resources to observing Venus to learn more. In all honesty, the more minds we have on this, the faster we get to more tangible answers. I, for one, am very excited about this discovery. It's the closest we've come to ever confirming life on a planet that is not our own. I'd like to thank my patrons and YouTube members for supporting I Need More Space's mission to creating entertaining and educational space content. If you'd like to support more content like this, please consider becoming a member or joining patreon.com slash I Need More Space. Thanks for watching. I really hope you learned something new today. Stay curious, and I'll catch you later. Bye.